by the shape-shifting detective let's play now I decided to do something a little different for a let's play and I saw this so I thought why not so with that in mind let's get started with this let's play shall we You're listening to Radio August. Dark Nights with Poe and Monroe. It's five o'clock and I'm Alice Monroe with your August update. August police are appealing for information following the murder of 21-year-old Dorota Shaw. Ms. Shaw's body was discovered last night. Chief DuPont is calling the crime a violent and despicable act. Anyone with information about the murder is urged to get in touch via the department's confidential tip hotline. It's horrible, Poe. Indeed it is. You need to learn when to keep your mouth shut. Okay, who are you? Exactly. Rewind. Oh! Okay then. Well, I'll fast forward this bit. You need to learn when to keep your mouth shut. Okay, let's try this again. Also, what a very rude man. Alright. Uh, ah, there we are. You know why you're here, don't you? No, I don't, actually. The dead girl. And this. What exactly were you thinking? You have one job. Don't get caught. Do you think you can do that this time? I'm not going to answer you. Splendid. You're going to a town called August. Find Chief DuPont. He's gonna think you're someone else. This person. This is who you are now. Understood? Understood? Oh, you want me to answer now? Okay, yes, yeah, fine, yes, Splendid. understood. If someone so much as sniffs that you're different, you'll be deprecated. Deprecated. We expect you to use your ability. Just don't get caught. And never, ever change into a child. In brighter news, August resident Mia French is celebrating the return of her missing pooch, Farley. The eight-month-old basset hound puppy was found outside Daryl's chicken and ribs. And that's five o'clock with Poe and Monroe. I'm Violet. Welcome to the guest house. There are some rules. In particular, no shoes in the guest house. The carpet's priceless. Now, how long are you staying for? I'm not sure, as long as it takes. Um, I'm not sure. That's fine. It's yours for as long as you want it. There's not been many visitors of late. Perhaps the murder will bring some tourists in. Do I want to ask, or shall I? No, I won't ask. Yeah, I won't ask. Sometimes we wish we'd asked something, and the moment just passes. Should have asked. Okay, fine. The murder? Yes, the murder. You haven't spoken to the chief yet, have you? Chief? Chief Dupont. He's the one who booked the room for you. You look lost. You should probably go and speak to the chief. Your room is just down the hall, last on the left. It has its own back door. The chief said that's the way you'd like it. 
Okay. Just finishing. Predicting the future, I'm just looking for my room. I'm gonna ask. Predicting the future? You don't believe? Uh, yeah, sure, I believe. That sounded serious. You must have a serious job to do. Hi, I'm Bronwyn. Nice to meet you, Bronwyn. I'm Sam. Pleased to meet you, Sam. If you'd like a reading. Ah, uh, sure, why not? So, what's your question, Sam? Will I win? Are you guilty? <laughs> Are you guilty, Bronwyn? Nah, I'm going to say, will I win? <laughs> the Fool. I'm going to see a lot more of you, aren't I, Sam? The Fool? Is that a no, then? Enjoy the journey. But remember, not everything is winnable. I'm in room one, and that's Sam the Fool. Rain's in two, Lexi's in three. And which room are you in, Sam? Good. We're neighbours. Just knock if you need me. Something in Lung's okay, jacket. Then. The phone. She hits you know, the I think doll. I'll go and talk to the chief Mom? first before I hit do this. Mom, Zoe. I know, I know. Good, you got my message. Chief Inspector Dupont. I wasn't sure you'd come, but I suppose you're between jobs? I'm Sam. Well, we both know that's not true. But I like it. Sam. That's your cover now. So. The job. Dorota Shaw. 21, the compass cellist, redhead. Strangled. I know who did it, but I need proof. It's the tarot readers. How do you know it was them? Yes. Keep up, Sam. That's the girl who was murdered. So, okay, that gave no extra information, but again, I'm going to go back to... Why do you think it's them? Because they predicted it. The older one, uh, Bronwyn, she came into my office last night talking all crazy and saying Dorota was in trouble. I did my best not to lock her up. And that makes her guilty because... <laughs> it all sounded crazy to me. Tarot, the spirit world, cards that move, trans-dimensional thingamajigs? To be honest, I thought she'd probably been smoking something. And that's why I didn't take it seriously. Because things, I don't have enough on her. That's where you come in. The free guest house day isn't free. I need you to work the case and report back to me. Find out things from the inside. Can you do it? I'll try. Okay. I'll be telling everyone that you've been hired by the Shores because obviously local law enforcement is either too incompetent or too overworked to solve anything. That gives you a license to talk to people, but only notionally. Don't actually touch people or annoy them. You don't have any real authority, understand? But you help me out, I'll help you. Okay, so no turning into a kid and no touching people. Got it. <laughs> Where's my badge and gun? Help me out? Do I have to spell it out? I'll make your problem go away, or at least sink it to the bottom of a pile of paperwork. Problem? What problem? Your old town. Come and find me when you're settled. This is Second Chance Sunday for you, Sam. Don't blow it. I don't know what you're talking about. What problem? What did I do? Uh, okay. So, we have... Well... Do you have an alibi for last night? Uh, I'm not going to ask the chief that. Okay. Um, let's work down the list. Tell me about Dorota. What do you want to know? She was a cellist, selected for a scholarship at Juilliard. It was in the local paper. I'm more of a Bon Jovi fan myself. Okay, sure. Uh, when was she killed? Don't read the paper, do you? Yesterday, Monday the 9th at approximately 9pm, according to the coroner. We got a call from the mother just after 10pm. What do you think about the tarot readers, except from the fact that you 
think they're guilty? They're as thick as thieves, covering for each other. Well, except the male one. You'll see what I mean. Okay. Why is Bronwyn prime subject? Obviously. Anyone Suspect. who walks in and predicts a murder, then that murder happens. Suspicious. Did suspect, not subject. Let's find out if we can find out in the dress or something. Where was Dora? In her bedroom. She was naked. Strangled. No signs of sexual activity of any kind. It was a weird scene to look at. There was one thing, but it's strictly between you and me. Dorota had a gold coin in her mouth. I'm being serious now, Sam. Not a word of this. It's the one thing only the killer would know. Okay. So no mention about a gold coin. Okay. What can you tell me about Violet? Uh, born here. Runs the local guest house. Lovely lady. Where are you going with this, Sam? What she told you? I'm not gonna say nothing. Look, if it's about the pills, I already know. Ooh. What do we know? Not much. Perhaps you should do some investigating? Fine. Traffic stood upon the side of the Golden Gate Bridge, the sun sliding into the Pacific. The view is breathtaking, but it's still not home. I'm going to visit fire. I assume you've been to see Chief Dupont already? Yes. Did you know Dorota? Not really. I'm sure she was a precious lamb, though. Dorota was a precious lamb? Yes, a lamb. Young. Innocent. Lambs get slaughtered, though, don't they? Okay. So, Dorota was nice. Nice, yes. That's a good description. Actually, I thought she was a bit slutty, to be honest. What makes you say that? I wanna. I, I could not ask, but I want to know. So, what makes you say that? You sound very. I don't know. Suspicious. Sorry. I'm gossiping. I don't want to talk ill of the dead. Ask her boyfriend. Boyfriend? Oscar lives at the vicarage next to the church. Don't tell him I sent you, though. I'm sure he's sick of seeing people already. Okay, I think I know who the other guests are. Was it Bronwyn, Rain, and Lexi? But I'm going to ask just in case there's others that I don't know about. They're tarot readers. I'm thinking of asking them to leave, actually. Why is that? Don't ask them to leave. Don't. Demands already. I'm only thinking of doing it. What were you doing last night? It's the strangest thing. I honestly don't remember. But I imagine I was here or getting groceries somewhere. Again, suspicious. Have you ever been at Dorota's house? I've driven by it. Never actually been in it. Oh, should I ask her? No, I don't think I will. Maybe I should. Fuck it, I'm gonna ask her. I take clozapine. I think they're for anxiety. I'm a very anxious person. That is not... I was gonna say, that's not for anxiety. But I'm not... You know what? Uh, I don't know. Should I... Me uh, well, I don't know. Uh, I feel like if I mention it being for schizophrenia, she won't be as open to me, potentially. I don't know. You know what, let's not ask her. Fuck it. You're listening to Radio August. Alright, Bronwyn. Sam, is it? I'm sensing you're not here for a reading. Sensing correctly. I have some questions about the murder. Chief Dupont thinks I did it. I'm hoping you'll convince him otherwise. Why should I convince him? How well do you, did you know her? 
How well did you know her? I didn't. We've only been here two days. I understand it's suspicious me being a stranger in town, but it's the truth. Except you predicted her murder. We saw danger in the cards and we tried to stop it. Trust me, Sam, we're on the same team. How did you predict the murder? We saw it in the cards, not images, feelings, impressions. Tarot can be very powerful. Not these cards. They only tell us what they want us to know. Okay. Where were you at 9pm last night? In my room, reading. I found a trashy romance novel under the bed. I'm assuming it's Violet's. It's all swooning heroines and brooding vampire Casanovas. Thank God Lexi saved me. Lexi saved you? She came to my room to chat for a little while. That was around nine, I think. You can ask her. I think I will. Do you think Violet is trashy? Uh, yes. They said the book was trashy. Look at this place. If her guest house is anything to go by, Violet's the opposite of trashy. Okay, okay. Fine. In the elevator by the other three members of his scientific team. You must be a new guest. Or you're burglaring us. I'm Rain, by the way. I'm Sam. Pleased to meet you, Sam. Enjoy your stay. Uh, the hot water goes off at nine, by the way. So it's cold showers from there on in. It really bugs me. You know what, actually, I'm gonna ask this question first. I was in my room. Praying, actually. I don't believe in God, but I was still praying. It didn't work. I don't believe in anything, but I also believe anything is possible, so uh, it's a conundrum. <laughs> okay then, so how did you predict the murder? We did a reading, a group reading actually, with a special tarot deck. What did it tell you? You get it piecemeal, not everything in one reading. The last one we did showed a young woman being murdered. Young, talented, probably red-headed. Tell me about the special tarot deck. Mercury? It's not exactly from here. Uh, with a normal tarot deck, you'd have the question, so you'd be the querent. With Mercury, it gives you the question and the answer. The cards themselves kind of change. It's a special deck. Can I see the tarot deck, Mercury? I don't have it at the moment. Bronwyn has it. That's a no then, okay then. What do you know about Dorota? I didn't know her. I know she was called Dorota Shaw. She was young, had red hair, a talented musician. Do you have any connection to her at all? No, not at all. You're completely barking up the wrong tree there. Should I say, well, that's what the killer would say. You know what, screw it, let's do it. <laughs> Spoken like the true killer, posing as a detective, trying to frame someone else for the murder. Uh, I'm just gonna leave. You see was wearing. Yes, Dr. Utani, I hear you loud and clear, he replied. All right, we're going to accelerate your descent a bit, otherwise we'll... Oh, hi, Sam, is it? Come on in, make yourself at home. Me casa es mi casa. <laughs> Come on. Hopefully I'll have better luck with you. Uh, what were you doing last night? I was in my room all night with Bronwyn. We were um, painting our nails. Really? Because, uh, that's not what Bronwyn told me. You can ask Bronwyn. We were together. Together? <laughs> not together together. 
That sounded kinkier than I meant it to. <laughs> okay, um... Why did you come to August? The cards told us to. Well, the cards in rain. Taro gives us a rough direction and he narrows it down with some astrological jiggery pokery. He's basically a walking esoteric library. And if that sounds dull, let me reassure you, it is. Well, okay then. So you do whatever the cards tell you to? No. Well, yeah. Well, no. We have a job to do. A job? I didn't say job. I said job. No, you didn't. You said job. Okay. We make a um, cheese obelisk, a chob, and depending on the shape of that chob, we get different answers to questions. I know you're lying. Cut the crap. No, you don't. It, it, oh my god, woman! Oh, dearie me. Alright, fine. Uh, did you know Dorothy? I don't know anyone in this town, except for Bronwyn and Rain, obviously, and Violet, and the Chief, and now you. Sorry, I'm a bit nervous. <laughs> How did you know she was going to die? Good old fashioned fortune telling. Well, kind of. We drew a card each and smushed them all together. Do you know what the most dangerous tarot card is? The death card? Everybody thinks that. It's such a cliche. The death card doesn't even mean death. Most of the time. <laughs> the devil card then? The five of swords. I think so anyway. There's nothing more dangerous than someone taking whatever they want no matter the cost. Oh, okay, so you drew that card for Dorota. Yeah, I did. Rain got the Knight of Wands, that's Dorota, and Bronwyn got the Ten of Swords, which is, well, you know, ee, ee, ee. swords in general are bad. Okay, so how well do you know Bronwyn? She's like my big sister, so pretty well. I'm not going to ask that. You know the Chief's got it all wrong. Bron could never hurt anyone, but I'm sure a smart detective like you can help prove she's innocent. That won't work on me. Oh, that's mean. She didn't do it anyway. Chief DuPont's crazy. I'm just gonna leave now. Please go faster! He pleaded the moment communication was restored. What's going on, Dr. Sheffield? Dr. Whitfield's voice was music. Thank you all for watching and I'll see you all next time. Bye!